Whoa. A dungeon cube? Wow. Okay. Hello, Terraria and Fusius. My name is James, and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack. So, it's episode 15, I believe. Let me check. I've actually got a list. It is episode 15. Welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be taking on some bosses. The usual, what we usually do. So, yesterday, I actually published my episode, and a bunch of you were very quick to comment about the flaming pumpkin, because, silly old me, well, I believe that it had an invincibility timer, well, no, it actually has flames that spawn, and then you have to kill off those flames, and then the health bar opens up. So, I don't know why I went with the route of, uh, of invincibility timer, I think it's because I did it here, I did the fight here, right, and so... All the flames were kind of peaked along here or down here. So I didn't really pay too much attention to them. So the next time I do it, I'm going to definitely pay attention to it. And then I was also checking boss checklist. And look at this. The antline queen. She's not on there. She hasn't got a check. That's super annoying. That's going to drive me mad. But I guess in the future, we can just redo it. And hopefully that will sort it all out. So today is Skeletron. Oh, yeah. Visit the dungeon or use the clothy ear voodoo doll. Ooh. So I have got a little arena. I'm going to use it. going to see how it goes. So this is obviously the first day of me uh, pre-recording these episodes. So I'm going to struggle a little bit to find stuff to uh, to really talk about. Because I like to talk about my life and what I'm up to in these episodes. And obviously I like to interact with you guys. But I tell you what, all these strawberries down here, they're growing. Yeah, they're growing really well. It's actually strawberry season in Britain. That's like a lovely thing. That's like... <laughs> When you get older in Britain, that's something you get, like, really excited about. Like, oh, yeah, British strawberries and some cream. But, yeah, I will struggle to talk about stuff. So, the episode lengths will be a little bit shorter. But if they're shorter, it means that you have something to watch every day. Maybe that's, like, part of your routine. It's definitely part of my routine to make one. So, it's going to be so strange taking days off. I, uh, I take one holiday a year, and I only ever go for a week. So, it's going to be weird to... Uh, to leave it's it, it's always on it's always on when i when i come back and i've got to catch up on what i've done you know because I, I like to pre-record these early and then like i'll come back in six days and i'll be like all right where am i gotta watch back myself to figure it out yeah it, it's always strange but uh that's always the challenge you overcome when you do youtube full-time you gotta you gotta learn how to do this and it makes or breaks people it does it's what me and python talk about it all the time pre-recording whoo hardest thing but yeah, I'm super excited for my trip. I, uh, I said this yesterday, but I'm going to be posting lots and lots of pictures onto Instagram and Twitter. I know a lot of the younger generation use Instagram a lot. I know that the older generation use Twitter a lot. So there's something there for both of you. <laughs> well, for all of you. <laughs> so I'll see you on there. But yeah, all right. Let's, let's move on. So this is the area that I had in the Reach biome. This is the area I've got for Skeletron. Nice and big, using the same potions that I've used in the previous episode. So basically all the ones that I think are gonna help me out essentially are gonna be here. I'm gonna stick down, if I can make two, yeah, I'll stick down two campfires. I'll put one here and like one there. And then I'm gonna regen some health. I'm literally gonna sit here for a minute and regen some health, get nice and cozy. But yeah, the problem with these pre-recordings <laughs> is if I say anything dumb, like I did yesterday, yesterday's a shining example of the flaming pumpkin. If I say anything dumb, you guys are going to have to wait around for six days. But I'll be in that comment section. Oh man, look at this dude. Oh no! Where's he going? I like that, yeah, I like that they frantically move around. You may have noticed that there is a tiny one in the thumbnail. A lot of people haven't spotted that, <laughs> or spotted it really late. And to get the picture of that was actually quite hard because they move around quite a bit. More than you would think. Right, we got buffs, we got health. Let's begin. This is always the fight I'm the worst at. For real. Always has been. Always will be. Can I just do damage straight to the head in expert mode? Oh, you can. Oh. Why do I always assume that you can't? I feel like that's a... Alright, this is going to be so dumb. Are you guys ready for this? I feel like this is something that's like to do with T-Mod Loader, because I swear in normal expert, you know, normal Terraria it doesn't happen. Or maybe it's you destroy the hands because of the skulls. I think that might actually be it. I think that's it. I think it's like destroy the hands because the skulls get in the way. I, I honestly don't remember. I'll tell you what though, with all these potions, it kind of train wrecks it really. Ah, yeah, I've, I've kind of train wrecked this. <laughs> A little bit more so than I presumed that I would train wreck it. Okay, let's... Woo, let's go about a day. 
Let's carry you in. Oh, here we go. Right. We're good to go. We're good to go. Nice. I will forever be a bad person with those skulls. I was, at, I was at Pedquin's house, obviously, the other day, as you guys know, for the charity stream. I know a lot of you were there. So you may have heard me say this already, but we were talking about our favorite bosses in Terraria. And I said, mine's the Eater of Worlds because I love how satisfying it is. And Pedguin said, it's the only boss with a story as in Skeletron, and that's his favorite. So we're in a little bit of, you know, things about that. All right. Blighted sludge, pockets of granite and marble, uh, Raw's echo from the underworld, the stars are brightening, the icy caverns are shivering. That is a lot of stuff. But yeah, I always say that Skeletron's one of my least favorite because I'm so bad at it. But he argued that I should like it more than uh, more than most because we've got the coffee here. So I really don't know how I feel about it, guys. Ooh, I've got a water bowl. Nice. I feel like I already had one, didn't I? Ooh, okay. So I'm just on chest hunt. Oh, I always love this where you get a brown chest right at the start. It's always the best way, isn't it? I should probably take this because I've seen a few times where I've had like crafting recipes and such. And it's oh, I needed these. These are from the spirit mod. Yeah, the uh, I've had a few times where like you've needed like a bone welder or like a sky mill or something like that. It's like something really obscure to actually make stuff with. Huh. So just to preface this once again. With pre-recording, there's one thing I always do. I don't build because building takes forever. I like to like take my time when I actually do build because you know you only build like once or twice per series, at least for me. So I don't build when I'm pre-recording because I usually end up building something naff and it takes a long time. So just a warning. All right, we got a Nahong Nahongo. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. What's that part of? It's part of Sacred Tools. We got the Bone Reaper. Oh, I like that. That reminds me of the... Uh, the staff that you get during the uh, old one's army. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's not very good, obviously, because it is for the healer class. All right, let's uh, let's kill off this dude just so we don't uh, have our. Whoa, a dungeon cube! Wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, and they give you gold keys. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Look at other loot and stuff. What's that? A gelatinous cube. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here going on. All right, let's try not get too uh, bogged down. Okay, uh, does our engineer sell anything? Engineer, what do you sell? Shop. Mechanics hammer. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's see what's in chest number two. We've got a lot going on. I tell you what, I could do with some uh, some birdos. All right, birdos, do your thing. Come on. All right, let's get rid of some of this uh, stuff. Some of the some of the like the stuff that we're not going to use. Uh, Big bone. Oh, that's for the uh, for the quest. Huh. Okay, we'll get rid of that. All right, we're good to go for a little bit. Oh my god, it's con well confusing in here. Okay, so we got a handgun, some gold bars. I'm gonna leave behind the gold bars because I don't think I necessarily need them. What's this? A slime killer. Oh, it's like a big giant sword. Very nice. I also got a goodie bag. Oh, moon jelly beans increases all stats slightly. Oh, oh, do you get uh, the candy now in, gel in, in in bags? That's cool. Nice. Man, jelly beans. What do you guys think of jelly beans? I I'm not the biggest fan, but when I went around to Python's house, he had like the biggest jar of jelly beans I've ever seen in my life. And it was like expensive luxury jelly beans, right? So I want you guys to know by supporting Python, is supporting his jelly bean addiction. He literally had like the biggest jar of it. And he was like, do you want one? And I was like, no. I know. Do you know what I hate about jelly beans in reality? There are those fake ones, aren't there? Like, I don't know what they're called. Like, bamboozled jelly beans. At least you get them in Britain, right? And it's like all these manky flavors of, uh, of jelly beans. Oh my god, I just... <laughs> I have to sense that. I don't know if I have to sense that word or not. Um... But yeah, there's these manky flavors of jelly beans, and uh, and I, I remember one Christmas I tried them. My nephew had a box, and he was only young, and he ate this jelly bean, thinking, "Oh, you know, it's just a normal jelly bean," and like, oh, it was it was literally the the worst thing to be. It was like being poisoned almost. Because <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Sounds so over dramatic, <laughs> but it's true. Okay. Uh. Oh, midnight oil. Enemies are less likely to target you after drinking. Oh. Okay. So, it's a potion, and it's a status effect. That's kind of cool. And then I think I'll leave everything else. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty chill. Oh, I tell you what, man, we could be uh, we could be using this. Why aren't you clicking on it? What? It won't let me right click. Oh, you can right click with this. What is going on? It literally won't let me click this. Obviously, I know it'll do. It. There you go. No. Shackled. You are shackled to a nearby shambler ball. Why? Oh, oh my god. What a moron. Oh my god. Oh, I am so sorry. I literally just clicked for me. Like, what on earth that is. Oh, that is, that is bad. That is really bad. It's an alchemy station. Oh my absolute god. <laughs> that is so bad. Oh no. It's got, I was paying more attention to like... Oh, the thought of jelly beans. <laughs> oh, for real. Oh, that is bad. That is so bad. Let's forget it, guys. Let's forget it. Let's not worry too much about that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I get another chest around here, boys? Another chest? Let's see. Well, nothing up here. It's nice seeing all the new enemies. I think my favorite one is the uh, the dungeon brick, though. I think I think that probably takes it. I like that one. Uh, okay, what's this dude? Ooh, a raging... What's it called? A raging... Can't read that fast enough. Minotaur. Cool. Got a mini Minotaur. What's in a jar of tartar sauce? It's not like that. <laughs> That's a little reference in Terraria, right? Pretty sure it is. The little tartar sauce. Oh, God. This is a really cool status effect. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually shackled right now. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I don't know if we've got everything we need. I need a cobalt shield because I've been dying for one of those in all honesty. So I do actually want to grab a cobalt shield. Let's see. Oh, okay. A stream sting. What's the damage? 12. I'm going to leave that behind. I'll take that midnight oil. Take this. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, man. We got, we got mauled, guys. We absolutely got mauled. Not good. All right, I'm going to deposit some stuff because we got a lot of stuff. So let's see. What is some of the stuff we haven't checked out? So we got the bone saw. That's cool. I like that. The bone saw. All right, let's put this stuff away. Uh, water bolt. We'll open this up now. So we got some elements of darkness. We got a skeleton staff. Whoa! They're sick. Little tiny skeletons. We got the Skeletron hand. That's a hook, right? Yeah, that's a hook. Okay. They're sick. I love them. Got the bone glove. The sword of power. You need to fix this sword if you want to use it. I don't know if you have to... Oh, it's a material. Okay. Well, don't worry about that. So, let's just get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. I'll get rid of the candy for now. Uh, that, that, that. Keep that. And jelly. Should you really eat this stuff? It heals some additional health afterwards. Huh, both from Thorium. Yeah, they seem like a very Thorium thing. That's that's cool. I like that. Right. So, all right. Let's go through it. So, let's start with the ore first. So, what do you make from the ore? You make... Tulanit bars. Tulanit bars. Okay. So, let's make Tulanit bars. Or... Bar... You make it at a demon altar? Really? Really? Oh. What? <laughs> what a burden. All right, we'll go make that in a second. We've got the robber's sack. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, you can make the fixed sword. Upgrade matter. So do you craft that? Let's see. Upgrade matter. You do. Okay. Right, so if I was to put that into... You need that... Alright, okay, so it's called the Fixed Sword of Power. Alright, let's put that in. Let's make the Fixed... Fixed Sword of Power. It does 39 and it flicks the Midas debuff. Okay, I haven't used a single sword in this series. Not really. Oh, okay, so it's got like a little bit of a, a throwing projectile on it. That's cool. Ooh, very nice. Right, let's go down to the Demon Altar. So what else do we need to check out? I think that's it, literally. If I get rid of my... Yeah, I've got to say, I've got rid of my Birdos anyway because we uh, we died. But that's cool. Not a bad little sword. All right, let's make our ore. Tulinate ore. 
Okay, wow, 49 pieces. That's probably enough for a, uh, a set of armor if it does armor. But we'll double check. Okay, so you can make the Hollow Knight set. Ooh, but you need Bloodstone Bars. Ah, you can make a moon token. Chases, change the phases of the moon. There is a chance to summon the Blood Moon. That's kind of cool because there are certain phases of the moon that affect, like, what NPCs, what NPCs sell, right? That's pretty chill. I don't know where to get these uh, these bars from, though. They're made from Bloodstone. Ah. <laughs> Seafeld's Ford. Uh, no entry. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure we'll come across that. Unless I've already got some Bloodstone. Let's just double check. Bloodstone. No, we got drop. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. So if I was to make bloodstone bar, no, I can't. All right, I'm not going to be able to figure that out because I don't actually know what this is. The Seafeld's, uh, no entry. So I feel like the Hollow Knight stuff is going to be left behind. Once again, I'm very excited for Hollow Knight to come out on the Nintendo Switch. When it does, I'll definitely be playing that game. Okay, right. So to round off today, I'm going to hand in this quest item. And then tomorrow, we can do something else. What's this? A... Crawler Lock Staff. 13 summon damage. What's this one? This one's 17, right? Yeah, okay. So if I get rid of my little skeletons. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not bad. I feel like I would rather stick to this one, though, because this one just looks cool. Look at them. Tiny little dudes. They look cute. Okay, where is our main man? Where you at, dude? I can't remember where we keep him. Let's see. Do we keep him over here? Where's he at? Okay. The Hunt Master. Let's go hand in our quest. Okay, Hunt Master. What have you got? I got a big bone. Tell me what you got. Okay. Alright. The Hurtful Bone Saw. Oh, wait. Don't we already have that? <laughs> Good job. Decursing that old man. I'm sure he much appreciates it. Here, take this before going down into that skeleton-infested dungeon. Thank you, my dude. Okay. There's all sorts of dangerous things in the dungeon, but currently it seems to be the biggest danger is the demolitionist skeleton. It plants landmines, throws grenades, and even has a giant cannon of doom. Take it out before it uses that cannon to destroy us all. Also, watch your step. Very cool. So... <laughs> it's not a yo-yo. It's this. Can I... Is it actually a saw or is it a melee weapon? Oh, it is an axe. Okay. Slain enemies explode into bones. Guaranteed critical hits against skeletal creatures. Very cool. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on today's video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on jelly beans because that is clearly the top priority in my mind, rather than alchemy stations. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.